was in the third grade. People treated me like a criminal. Because I killed somebody! Grab your cat, let's go! Hey, you ready to go? We're going out, but it's time to stop dating F-boys. I'm calling out Khloe Kardashian today. In a new book, A Secret of President Trump's is exposed, and then in Hot Take Tuesday, we are definitely talking about the woman who breastfed her cat on the Delta flight. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Politics. Okay, before we get this show started, I want to have a little heart-to-heart -heart real talk with you, cute conservative. So I have heard you. I know that you have been a little bit concerned or confused as to why the episodes lately have been a little bit shorter. And I was telling you in the comments, and uh, producer Valentino was telling you in the comments, that we're trying different things out because the Instagram algorithm has changed. This wasn't our choice, it's just that we're trying to keep up with the algorithm. And so kind of what we're thinking, and I really wanna hear your all's thoughts, is if we go back to 10 minute episode length, um, but we just start doing more reels as a brand and politics puts out more reels during the day, maybe that will help us expose our page and our show and, and you know the cute conservatives family to outside people that haven't ever seen us before. But then the actual true OG cute conservatives, you guys get what you want, which is 10 minute episodes. I've just been concerned that maybe you all didn't want 10 minute episodes because the views went down so low. So I just need to know what you guys want. It's really important that you speak up in the comments today and tell me your thoughts. And I'm doing my best. I'm just doing my best. I'm just doing my best. My patience has worn so thin with Khloe Kardashian and her constant ability to choose F-boys that is basically non-existent. When is she going to leave Tristan Thompson? Today, Junior? Tristan's been cheating on Khloe for years, but his latest scandal brings everything to a new level. It's not fair. It's not fair that, like, this is even something that I think anyone has to go through. Allegedly, Tristan got his personal trainer, Marilee Nichols, pregnant while he was still dating Chloe back in March. In new court paperwork, Marilee says that he tried to get her to have an abortion and told her that if she has this baby, he doesn't want anything to do with it. You worthless scumbag! There is truly nothing that aggravates me more than the fact that Khloe Kardashian has a supportive family, all the money and resources she could ever need for her and her daughter, and yet she keeps allowing guys to walk all over her like this. Grow up. Grow up. Yeah, you grow up. Another day, another story that the left is pearl clutching over involving President Trump. I truly don't understand it, but they're beside themselves because apparently when the president was sick with the you know what last fall and in the hospital, he ordered McDonald's. Ooh. Together, Grimace, we could own this town. The McDonald's moment is described in former chief of staff Mark Meadows' new book, and some lefties on social media are up in arms because, you know, they care so much about health. I'm just glad they are able to find the time for such a righteous cause in between their fat positivity campaigns where they glorify obesity. Time for Hot Take Tuesday, a few extra headlines that you need to know about. Hot Take Tuesday. Bachelor Nation is raging over Clayton Eckerd, a 28-year-old white former NFL player from Missouri being cast as the new lead. Even though there have been two black leads in the last year, by picking a white person again, they feel that ABC isn't doing enough to fight racism. I mean, they might as well just never let a white person be involved with the show again, period. After all, I guess that's what they want. Like you never seen a white person before. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says that claims of organized retail theft are a right-wing hoax with no evidence to back them up. What did they steal? <laughs> My sausages! AOC might as well be a flat earther if she regularly operates on this level of delusion. According to the Associated Press, national retail groups last month estimated the annual losses to be in the tens of billions of dollars from these smash and grabs. California stores like CVS and Walgreens have been hardest hit, and I don't know what evidence she's looking for, but there's viral videos all over the internet. Oh my Please leave the store. Oh my God! Call the police! Yeah, please, please call the police. 
And a woman on a Delta flight brought her hairless cat on board, wrapped in a blanket like a baby, and according to witnesses on the plane, tried to breastfeed it. I don't know what the problem is. Maybe that cat identifies as a baby. No one has ever held my boobs like that. No one ever will. Unbelievable feedback on the latest episode of The Spillover with Melissa Odin, an abortion survivor whose grandma tried to kill her. I am so glad that you loved her as much as I do. If you've not listened to her yet, make sure you do that today. Subscribe to The Spillover on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and leave a five-star review, please. Make sure you tap the heart on this episode, then tell me your favorite holiday dessert that you make. I have it. oh, I burped, I burped. <laughs> Just thinking about my favorite holiday dessert made me a little gassy. Okay, keep going. I haven't made these yet, but I am obsessed with the Ritz crackers and peanut butter that are covered in chocolate or whatever. DM this episode to one friend who has a cat and click the save button. We're back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. It's pop culture without the propaganda every single day. Oh, and if you have a cat, put in the comments the little song that you sing your cat because everybody has one. I'm Alex Clark and this is Poplitics. Support Poplitics, the first ever conservative pop culture daily show by subscribing to our channel, turning on notifications, and of course, hitting the thumbs up. Also, our main home is on Instagram, seriously, just trust me, that's where the real magic happens. Follow us there, at Poplitics.